What's up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarender, and uh, today we got ourselves a match against Yul Freeman, and we're just gonna call him Freeman for short because that after name or addressing name are just so cool. I mean, I got Hasselquist, so guess what I prefer? Freeman is the way to go, and um, yeah, we battled before, and uh, he's definitely a top player. Uh, he's one of those top players that I do fear somewhat about because he got some predictions game down and uh, it really makes it tough to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against him because he is somewhat unpredictable and that obviously screws me over. And uh, yeah, look at his team here. He got Gudra, Metagross, Electivire, Zeptal, uh, Gastrodon and Charizard. Charizard is... Uh, I always thought it was gonna be his Mega, so I kept that in mind going into this battle. I myself is using Bronze Song with Heatproof, because people just and take for granted that they always got Levitate, but no Heatproof, because people tend to try to attack with Flamethrower. And Steelix, DNA with Choice Band, Malamar, Assault Vest, Mega Pidgeot, and of course the Physical Dragology, which I haven't used for around 100 battles way, way back when I started Pocket Wing. It's still very viable, it is a Socket Spike Dragon Tail set, and it's worth you great. So, yeah, let's actually get into the battle right away. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. Boom, bada, boom. Ooh, you hear that theme? Yeah, that's the formidable foe theme. So, anyway, I'm just gonna start with Bronze Song, and he's gonna start with the Charizard, and I was definitely, you know, it is both lucky and unlucky. I do get off my Stealth Fox here right off the bat, but, of course, you know, that flame for it does not enough, and uh, it definitely should prove, for him at least, that I am obviously not... Uh, levitating, or at least so I fought throughout this battle, and uh, I just take this chance to switch out because obviously I can't do anything here. So I'm going to go into my Dragology, setting up the Toxic Spikes because he has no Spinner or Default in his team, so I saw it as a gold opportunity. He does, you know, round 70 or what is that, 50 in damage, which is very, very a lot to deal with. It is a crit though, but still. Uh, and after his Air Slash, which does round, you know, 30%. He scores the flinch here, and that is just killing me. So of course I don't get the Toxic Spikes up. I'm just going to go for Protect, because I need to recover. And, um, yeah, he switched out to his Gastrodon, and... Um, I basically, I was so caught in his spot there because of that flinch, I decided to switch out right off the bat, and don't, you know, Protect Stall to find out if he had the Earth Power or not. So I'm just going to switch out right off the bat. Like I said, not even, you know, shaking out his other power or not. And of course, he goes for a Skull, the Raft Bat. And my poor Pidgeot takes some unnecessary damage, and it just killed me. I really thought I was gonna go for another power. So I switch, or switch, I may have evolved to, of course, the mighty Jesus Bird. And go for the Hurricane, which done roughly 50%. And he's gonna go for Recover, just to check out how much damage I really do. And uh, after he sees this, he's gonna go for another skull. I was really fearing that it could pack the ice beam. So I'm just gonna go for another hurricane, hope for a confusion to be honest. And uh, this skull comes here, and uh, I must say, Peter gets a nice boost in his bulk once it mega evolved because he took that skull like there was nothing. And uh, basically, I did expect him to switch out here, so I'm just gonna go for Heat Wave. I did expect him to actually bring the Metagross. Uh, luckily for him, I guess, is that he goes to Electivar, which obviously would take a good chunk of damage from this heat wave. And uh, basically, I had to switch out there because I couldn't risk this thing in case it was scarfed. So I'm going to my Alphalix, soaking whatever comes my way. He is actually going for the Ice Punch. And, um, yeah. No. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go for Stone Edge, hoping for him to switch into his. Uh, Charizard, which I thought was a better choice, but you know, I missed the Sonic anyway, and Gastrodon, of course, is going to <clears throat> make my day so much more beautiful in any possible way, really. So, I am forced to switch out yet again. So I go into my Reminol because from here on out, I'm just want this thing toxic. I didn't see him switching into his Metagross because Bronze Song obviously walled this thing out pretty nicely, to be honest. And uh, I don't think he figured out that I got the heat proof yet, which means that, of course, Earthquake will have hit me for super effective damage, but I really didn't think it was without it. So I went for a Toxic, and uh, luckily for me, he goes for his Gudra. 
And uh, well, basically at this point I was just like, alright, I can probably go for an iron head here. I was really hoping for outspeeding him and go, you know, getting the flinch. I don't outspeed, but he goes for fire blast and you know no. That is no damage. And I score a crit here, which is really, really unfair for him. And uh, with that in mind, I really felt that, you know, he should now figure out that uh, it's, I am most likely not heatproof, and uh, that I am heatproof. So I'm just going to go for an earthquake, expecting him to switch out his Metagross. So, boom! Some nice nifty damage right there! And, um, yeah, I'm basically, I'm getting this done. I'm getting the predictions down, and obviously here, I can't stay in because I know... Earthquake is uh, extremely real, but he will actually switch out, which I did not expect. Uh, oh, right, I actually stay and go for another Earthquake, because I was basically going to um, sack this thing, right. Never mind, obviously I don't hit him, and I really felt, alright, he's going to go for Flamethrower anyway, because Air Slash obviously won't do anything whatsoever, so I might as well go into my Dragology, and um, you know my Dra Dragology got some fair HP left. Obviously an air slash will take it out here, so I'm just gonna, you know, be that guy, you know, go to protect and to pretty much stall him here because I just want at least one layer of toxic spikes up because at least, you know, he's still got a lot of Pokemon that are whittled down, which means that toxic will whittle them down even further. He actually goes for um, the flamethrower here, which I did surprise me a little bit because air slash would probably be, you know, in the range of killing me. I don't think it would, but you know, one might never know. It's still, like I said, in the range. So anyway, I'll decide to go for another Protect, and after this, I will actually uh, switch out to my Dedane, because I am very sure that he will go for an Air Slash, and obviously being resisted to the, well, to the Electric types, I saw Actros, my Dedane, as the right choice, and uh, it does more than I want to, you know, he scores a crit here, you know, giving back, you know, the Hacks from before, but, you know, that basically killed my Dedane, so I do expect him to go for the Metagross here, and I mean, look at this. The little, little yellow rodent is just, you know, fighting the demons and steel beasts of tomorrow. Of course, his wild shell won't do anything, and Metagross will just do what it does best and just annihilate this little yellow puff. Oh, the crit earthquake. Oh, he's definitely, like, in deep water there, weren't he? So, anyway, I do get a golden opportunity to go into my setup tool, my Malamar, I was gonna say Salisar, but obviously Malamar is the right name. And uh, obviously I do outspeed on Metagross, if it is not invested in speed, of course, which they really are. Though the Megaform tend to be that. But anyway, look at this. This is the moment you have been waiting for. Can Septize Leaf Storm actually dent a Malamar? I really thought it would. I really were, but... Mm -mm -mm. Is it is showing me that he is actually a mix set. So this Leaf Storm, I really nom 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 that shit right off the bat, don't I? So obviously superpower is not taking him out, but after he shows me now the Leaf Blade here after, he is definitely gonna show me that he is a mixed set and Leaf Blade is you know almost a superior choice. It really did some fair amount of damage to be honest. You know, after two boost in defenses of course, and I'll get my third boost in defense, which just makes this thing a demon. So that is a one huge threat out of the way. So obviously Gastron is here. And I know that even with three superpowers inbound. It is not very likely for me to kill it with either a knockoff, so I'm just straight on at it, going for another superpower. I do score a crit here, which almost kills it, so I guess if I went for a knockoff, that I would have killed it. But, yeah, obviously I didn't do that. And uh, I decided to actually go for a knockoff here afterwards, because he got the Lectavar left. The Lectavar can't dent me at this range, and uh, the other one is Gudra, so basically the thing I'm wondering right now is can... Gudra deal with the Malamar, as long as it doesn't have Draco, I should be able to deal with it. Oh my god, they're coming, the meteorites, no, Malamar, no, <laughs> but I actually live this, yeah, <laughs> it's actually quite funny, um, I have no idea what else there are, but damn, Malamar just doing it, just like, whoa, is that rock, oh, I'm just gonna show it off my shoulder, <laughs> so anyway, while Malamar is brushing off the rocks on his shoulder, he is actually going back into his ball where he belongs and uh, Steelix is gonna come in here to finish the game because let's just face it, Malamar should not die. He is definitely the MVP of this battle together with Bronzong, really just walling everything and retaliating. 
And uh, you know, Freeman should have some, you know, really a shout out for him. He did a very, very good battle this time. And uh, the only reason I would do win here is because, you know, obviously Bronson with heat proof tend to screw people over, and uh, me basically walling out draw, um, the Charizard as much as I can. Uh, obviously, the Charizard was the biggest threat because of the sheer bulk that Pokémon do have. But getting rocks up and of course getting a, some poison out of the way really, really paid off for a pretty much wide open for me to get in and actually try to finish off this game really, really easily. And uh, yeah, definitely good predictions on my part that you know, in the end, made me win this game or battle. So I hope you guys enjoy this battle. And like I said, there, you know, Freeman's definitely a good battler. And uh, there's a reason he won against me last time. We went against one another, and the reason I won this time is because of uh, well, my surprise factor. To be honest, the Bronze Man obviously it did some numbers. Plus, you know, the predictions on my part with it did some paid out the way really. Yeah, that, that was basically what I wanted to get at. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna leave his Twitter down below, so make sure to check him out. It's Freeman16. And other than that, hmm, I wanna thank everybody who you know, come out today to battle me. Um, I think we did, yeah, I think we got 7 wins and 4 losses, so... Quite obviously, there, there were a lot of tough teams, and you know, were a lot of close battles, and a lot of battles, or you know, a few battles that were close enough to be uploadable. And uh, I want to thank everybody who came out today. I really do. Thank you for this. You know, I got the material needed. Uh, obviously, I'm going to reach out on Tuesday too for more battles because I do need more good battles for, well, for you guys. And uh, yeah, besides that, you know, I'm going to try to have a lower tier. I say inner tier to everybody, but I'm going to try to have a lower tier just to be comfortable in that zone and that area. And obviously, I do like to be a little unpredictable and it tend to screw people over a lot so you know I have, I have a lot of fun doing this and uh, yeah with that in mind guys uh, question of the day who is your least favorite mega pokemon uh, mine is Odino because I really felt that that pokemon got screwed over this time I really do it should have been a lot better than it did became here but uh, it, it's not bad by design it's just um, the sheer bulk and focus on the pokemon really just uh, very very uh, unappetizing for me um, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching of course, and remember, the sky is the limit, so have a good day and take care, right? Bye!